Yeah, you knew I was coming back to this one. Well, anyway, welcome back to part two of the Legend of Dragoon. Shall we get? Shall we continue? Yes, yes, we shall. All right. Uh, I think I already saved, but that's completely fine. I know I should be probably covering like one of the big four, or I should probably be playing some other game. But I'm almost done with my PlayStation Plus Premium. It's pretty much finished in this one, and then we got one more game. It's pretty much Twisted Metal, so... And it's gonna be the very first one, so that'll be completely retro. Okay, let's go this way. Wanna make sure I'm recording. Uh, probably 30 to 40 minutes on this one. It'll probably be 30 to 40. But if I put 50, then guys, it's because this is a game that obviously I have nostalgic about. So, of course, I am absolutely... Oh. So, of course, I'm absolutely invested to play this because this was a game back in the day. Like, like man, I feel old because it was back in the day. But I have appreciation for this game. Yes. Oh, it was too slow. That's on me. Oh, it's the assassin. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. It's because I'm immature. But also, come on. Why would they do this? I understand trip. I completely understand trip because a tree. That makes total sense. But assassin cock. Whose idea was this? The more I see these characters, the more I'm convinced that they should be in the fighting game. Or Soul Calibur game. You know, if they were still around. I mean, is Soul Calibur... Is the franchise dead in the water now? Is Soul Calibur gone? I feel like they could do it. I just don't think they can do it. Because it's not making as much money as, like, Taken or something like that. Alright, this is definitely the way out. I mean, I could do this arrow, but I kind of don't want to. Keep going! Man, this brings me back. Uh, what's the art style that they use for these type of games? Kind of like, uh, almost like, like it was paint in the art but the characters are polygon. I forgot what art style this is. I always enjoyed that. And back in the days, it was so... It was so uh, such a game changer back in the RPG days. But now, we have, like, realistic graphics. Yeah, so... That's what the old games did better. At least we got games every year, and we got plenty. Like, a bountiful amount of games back each year because of the polygon. And the graphics were not a big deal back then. But now it takes like six to seven years to release a game that you really want to come out. And by the time it comes out, you'll already play multitude of games already. But that was the thing about the old school games. At least you got your game in a reasonable amount of time. And you already, and by the time you get to the new game, you already finish your favorite games from the last year because there was just plenty of it. It's, it's amazing of what changed back then to compare to what we are now. Well, everything's now of heavy focus into a live service game. Flashback! So are they like an adopted brother and sister, or they've been childhood friends? Then she has a shot. Hey, I don't mind these random encounters because the battle system is just that intuitive and unique that I do not mind doing it. There's a, like, yes, it's button mashing with quick time advance, but it's cool button mashing with quick time advance. And it keeps you engaged for the 50 plus hours, or I guess the four just back in the day. But for really the PlayStation days, they they needed to keep you hooked. 
And that's the point of video game consoles back with the RPG days. Because I feel like that's a hard job for RPG like developers or video game developers who make specifically RPGs. How are we going to keep our gamers invested for 50 plus hours and not give them bored? Complex story, uh, complex memorable stories, iconic characters, addictive, fantastic gameplay. And the graphics can be a bonus, but it doesn't have to be essential. Also, RPG mechanics that, and I feel like it's a tough job, especially for modern RPG developers, because they have to have something fresh, and they have to have something that is just so unique, but also that harkens back in the past in a good way. Because that was the problem with Tokyo RPG Factory. Yes, they harken back to Final Fantasy, but it was past the time that people have already gotten past Final Fantasy. We had Mass Effect, Sky Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and so on. We had modern RPGs that came out during those times. So games like from Tokyo RPG Factory, which I appreciate, except for Lost Spear. That game, hmm, now. But the games that we got for Iron Setsuna and Onaki, those harken back to definitely Final Fantasy, except for Onaki. That was more action RPG. But it was it came way too late for already RPG that already did so many cool stuff with it. So try you have to kind of do something creative in order for your game to be successful. Baldur's Gate 3, example. Alright. Well, enough talking about the past. Let's talk about the past again. Alright, well that counts. Well, at least it's not a ridiculous name like Assassin. <laughs> oh gosh. Got it. That is a pose that is made for a fighting game. And no one convinced me otherwise. I think there was a boss fight around here. If I remember right. I mean, it is. Okay, Perry, fine. I guess I'll go this way. Man, this brings me back to... Okay, I think I can save on this one. Yeah, it might seem like the frame rate is kind of dipping just a little bit for this, but that's understandable because this was back in the PS1. You know, when the days of frame rate was not a big deal and it was all about just being a video game and graphics were not essential too. But I get it, the times have changed from the days of the PlayStation to now the days of the modern consoles, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and the Nintendo Switch. Now games are so fixated on frame rates and have to have the best looking graphics. PlayStation should buy the next box. But I will give Nintendo that. At least with Nintendo, they don't focus on just the frame rates and not about graphics. They just solely are now in the business of making just video games. Games they want to do. Oh, okay, we can get random encounters on the world map? I think we could. Oh, it's Trent again. Take this, Trent! Yes. Double slash! That's the most generic kind of like pose, like, I did it! I mean, it's all good and all, but it's kind of generic in terms of his pose. Well, at least the game as a whole is pretty great. I Man, I don't have to really manual save, I just choose to because of nostalgic value, I guess. If you're not an RPG fanatic or you don't like RPGs, this is not going to be your cup of tea. I'm going to honestly tell you that. But for anybody 
who played Legend, the Legend of Dragoon back in the day, or played a lot of RPGs back in the day, yeah, this is going to be your cup of tea. Especially if you like something like this, like this cult classic. I'm just saying, even though The Legend of Dragoon got a lot of flack, it was actually kind of one of those cult classics that you really had to seek out because it was so cool. Wait. You get to hit first? I thought I got here first. Well, Berserk Mouse, you're dying. I think it was the fact that the there was abilities or the addition skills actually kind of made it unique. I, I kind of like it. Actually, I liked it. I, I very much liked it. Alright, we made it to the prison. Ah, I thought the whole point was to break it out of jail, not break it into jail. Wait, is Shayna with us the entire time? Hmm, a dragon? That seems like a foreshadowing to a dragoon! I feel like this would have been days worth to get here. I mean, you could sneak in the kind of convenient hair, well, carnage. Well, hairs, hairs, horse carriage. How did they not notice it with this kind of bright red armor? Or kind of spiky hair. Okay, fine. You don't have to draw a sword for, like, it's not the business of you to ask questions like that. Well, he's a merchant. I mean, he's gonna ask the kind of, like, basic questions. Well, you can't answer... You can't ask any questions? Anyway. That was well time. All right, bro. They probably should get more uh, better trading. If soldiers can overlook stuff like that, of people just sneaking in to prison, yeah, they probably are not good guardsmen at all. I mean, they're not getting paid enough. Well, considering that their general or their captain or whatever he was called knocked one of them off the bridge and into an abyss, yeah, I don't think they're really taken care of. Really? I got a trophy for that? So, am I getting all the trophies? It's kind of interesting I'm getting trophies for PS1 slash PS2 slash PSP games. But I absolutely will take... I, I will be cool with that. So, in a sense for an RPG, I mean, you just have to play the game and grind, like, non-stop and get max level. Then you probably will get platinum by the end of the day. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. And also do all the side quests, but use the walkthrough to find all the side quests. That kind of sums it up. How do I equip again? It's been a while. Nope, that's not it. Oh, okay, once we collect weapons, then we can replace it. That's right. Yeah, but I like the designs for the characters. I mean, it's like stuff that you can cosplay for, and nobody... 
And if you played The Legend of Dragoon, they're like, The Legend of Dragoon! But yeah, for the stuff that you cosplay for The Legend of Dragoon, it looked like it would be hard to cosplay in. Unlike Final Fantasy, I feel like that would be absolutely hard to cosplay, to a degree. But yeah, The Legend of Dragoon, I don't, if you wanted to cosplay, I don't think it would take a whole lot of effort. I think it would take time, but it would be as bad. Just saying. Oh, I've been discovered, indeed. Hey, Merchant, why did you have to sell me out? I mean, I just got here. Wait, could I just knock on back? Oh, okay, go ahead, just hit me with your pull. Mmm, don't finish that thought. That was easy. Alright, Merchant, since you sold me out, I could probably just literally kill you where you stand, but I probably just want some materials. There we go! So, gonna be that douchebag again? Hmm? Yeah, delivery man who delivered a guard right to, basically, to me, to get caught. Yeah, delivery man, my ass. Yeah, that's probably a good move. Shut up, Archie. Yeah, you're a merchant. Of course you are. I don't know why you let the guard to me. You could have just basically, you know, kept your freaking mouth shut. But okay, whatever. Uh, Angel's Prayer. Nah, we'll probably find it all along the way. The spark bit sounds pretty cool. I'll take two, just in case. Yeah, that's right, Merchant. Sell me stuff. Kind of like the old school kind of like... Duh. I don't know. I just like it. Duh. Yeah, in terms of the PlayStation library or what they can pretty much bring to PlayStation Plus Premium, yeah, I can already tell you. Metal Gear. Just Metal Gear Solid, specifically. Metal Gear Solid from 1 all the way to 3, since you're only going to do the PS1 and PS2 so far, Sony and PlayStation. But yeah, Metal Gear, definitely the Silent Hill series, because I, I definitely want to stream it. Uh, yeah, Metal, like the old ones. The Japanese... Saw Hill, not the American versions. Please, not the American version. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool if we don't get those. But they'll probably bring them. So the Saw Hill series, the Metal Gear series, what else did they need to bring? Yeah, the Crash Bandicoot series, the old ones, but the remake would be, or the remasters can be put in PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium. It depends. There's just a lot. There's a lot on the PlayStation 1, PS2, and PSP that they can bring. I feel like you guys, well, you already brought Crisis Core, but I would be cool if you brought the original one. That's the one I would play, not the Reunion. It, it, I don't, I'm not saying that Reunion would not be a bad one to play. It just, it doesn't have Rick Gomez. I, it just, it won't latch with me. And that's just my opinion, and you guys don't have to agree with that. Just say. Hmm. Guards there. Well, I'm gonna fight the guards, naturally. Let's go this way. It's been a long time, so I don't know where this way goes. Ah! Hmm. Uh, it doesn't look like it has some stairs that will take me over there, so I guess I'll. I guess I'll go back here. Now my friends play the original Final Fantasy VII. I wonder if he would play the Legend of Dragoon. I, I doubt it. I wonder if he even heard of the Legend of Dragoon. Ah, 
Actually, do we have a mage in this game? I think we do. What you gonna do? Yes. Oh, I was too slow. Crap. Master Taz, many and devil would be not proud of me. Yes. Now he would be proud. Hey, what you throw at me, bro? Oh, okay, so you're just gonna throw electricity at me. Double slash! And he's done. Ba -ba -ba -da. All right, almost leveled up to level four. I can't remember if there's an area in the Legend of Dragoon that is just like farm worthy. Like I need to farm XP like non-stop. Okay, so 15 out of 20. Wait, 18 out of 20. So is there a max for, like, uh, once I pretty much use all the abilities at the same time? Because I don't mind using Volcado. Well, anyway. Let's go this way again. Nope. Okay, so this way then. Hey! Are there random encounters in the prison? This is seem like it. Da 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 da. Hit me with the spear again, huh? Or I don't know what these are supposed to be. Yes. Double slash. All right, does that count? Because I feel like I used it 20 times already, so it should count, right? Let me check, actually. Seriously, I, I like this kind of menu music. Makes me feel something. Yeah, okay, so I did get to it. So the more times I use it, the more damage it's going to do, and... All right, cool, cool. I'm gonna stick with double slash, level it up significantly, and then once it gets to its max level, then obviously I'm gonna do volcano. Okay, so hmm? what's that sound? That's odd. I'm hearing a sound. That was kind of odd. All right, where's this lead to? Okay, so I feel like that's going to be important if we're trying to escape to lower the bridge and all that. All right, then this way. Nope. And we'll go this way. You guys know I have a sword, and I killed, like, maybe two or three of you guys at this point? Probably should have a stronger opponent or something, I don't know. And it's only one of you guys. I feel like there should be more for this fortress or something. Yes. Yeah, you're very compelled to use all the abilities and master them, because it just looks dope once you get them up to a high level. All right, so I have to use this 40 times. What was the max level for the additions? I thought it was level 8, but it's been so long, I don't know anymore. <clears throat> Clear my throat. And let's move on. It's a weird... Nope, can't go that way. Dang it. 
All right, I guess I'm going this way. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, where's my character? Hey, who you called a bastard, bastard? Kind of wanted to see the other city or the other area. It seemed like there was something there. Get up. Dude, did you just throw a thunder spell at me again? Oh, you prick. I'll suck the sword. I know that sounds. And we leveled up again. So I'll go this way. Okay, so clearly there's a hidden path to get over there. Wait, can I jump up or can I jump down like Cloud Strife? Nope, I cannot. And this will look like a hidden path that I could just kind of like jump in there. Okay, so it looks like I'm going over there. Alright, let's see where this leads. But it seems like the right path is going to lead us to the main story, so let's just keep going. What's all this about? Gosh, it's been so long. Okay, clearly I'm not going to go up. Whoa. Never freaking mind. I guess I'm not going that way. Oh, well, I guess I can go that way. Oh, okay, so you can easily jump that, but you can't jump to the lower platform. That's why Cloud Strife does it better. Are you serious? Okay, we get it. You're not like a pretty much a, a soldier. I guess you're considered a mercenary, but come on, dude. I, I feel like you should be able to jump, like, certain platforms, but okay, whatever. Well, that's really a minor nitpick compared... Well, I guess compared to the grand scheme of things. Keep moving! Get up! I mean, I don't think there's a way to avoid them. Maybe, but I don't think there is. Alright, how many minutes are we done? Alright. Hey, it seemed like my attack power. Really? Thunder? Getting real sick of that thunder right now. Yes. Oh wow, 200. Yeah, I got a while before I can level that up. You know, we really don't have to use the manual save. I mean, when you think about it, we have quick save, so it kind of defeats the purpose of the save point. I find that quite interesting. I kind of like what we're... But I do appreciate where we're at. Yeah, you really don't have to save at all. What you think about it? But that makes the PlayStation 1 slash PS2 plus slash PSP game much better just because there is a quick save. It just makes it so much better. I noticed that, that there's no quick save in terms of the PS2 games. 
But the PS1, PS... Well, PS1 and some specific PS2 games. But mostly PS1 and PSP games. I very much appreciate that. That makes it so much easier and saves so much time. But I'm glad... It makes sense why they did it on the PlayStation Premium. It makes sense because... It's like they're valuing your time and they know they have classics and cult classics. So it just makes sense to have quick saves, rewind, and all that crap. Because these were the games that put them on the map. So yeah, so essentially trying to get your attention. <sighs> da 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 da. Okay then, bro. At least the double slash is increasing. Now let's get it. Yes. Definitely got more damage. Hmm. Should I save it here? Well, the Legend of Dragoon is going to take me a very, very long time, so... No, let's keep going. Just for a little bit. Until I kill all the enemy soldiers. Wait, why does he get first strike? I feel like I engaged him first. Uh, really? Again with the thunder? You're not Pikachu. You don't get infinite thunder spells. Now get some. Well, it won't take me long to get to 200, but. There's not a lot of enemy soldiers to fight. What you got for me? Angel's Prayer. Oh, a leather jacket. Main new equipment? Oh, the freaking phone. Let's do it. But, how do I switch weapons again? It's been so long. That seems important. That seems very important. Hold on. Uh, I think it's replaced. No, no, that's not it. <clears throat> okay, so we're almost at level three. All right, use it. Sworn we actually have the ability. Well, I guess not. No! Oh! Well, I can do. He's gonna die anyway. Yes. Dang it, I was too slow. Why are these guys just casting thunder like no one's business? It's not doing a whole lot of damage, but it's kind of very annoying. Oh, you're about to die. Yes. Halfway there, about 70 more. All right, so it looks like some kind of mess hall.
how do I get to the next area? I could have sworn there was another area. Oh, nope. Went back. Oh, they're back? Okay, so these are one of these enemies that respawn. Good to know. And it's already done. 35 minutes! I think that's pretty respectable. Alright, let's save real quick. There we go. Uh, is there a way to quit the game? Nope, doesn't look like it. Which is fine, I mean, this is an RPG, you can't just quit, like, one of the old school RPGs. So you can't just quit on the fly, but it's, when you can, it's freaking great. Okay, so yeah, there will definitely be more of The Legend of Dragoon coming up in the future, because I'm pretty much a fan of this, this game when it did come out at the time. But of course, you can leave that like, comment, or subscribe. Let's move on to the last PlayStation Video game, and then I'll tell you what's going to be the schedule. Well, I can't say for Saturday. This is kind of one of those finish it up the PlayStation Plus premium, but I'll tell you what's going on coming up in the, I guess, yeah, I guess later half of Saturday. But we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you on the next clip.